Hello guys, um, today we have a Audi A7 in my garage, um, with a, it's a 2017 Audi A7, it's a 3 litre diesel engine and uh, the customer wants a, a stage 1 tune on the car. Um, this is a quick video to show you how to read the ECU on the bench using flex and uh, there's the, the ways that we can read this ECU we can read this ECU on OBD bench and in boot mode um, and the reason I read this ECU on the bench okay by the way this is the ECU I've done all the connections I'm gonna go through the connections I just done the connections because it's I don't I don't want to waste your time making you watch a video of me putting the cables on so all the cables are on um, and that's it Let's go and choose the ECU. We go back. Yeah. In the search bar, we put the ECU number there, which is EDC 17 CP54. If you see that there, it's an EDC 17 CP54. And uh, we got the Audi A7 here. Choose Audi A7 2017. These are the options. We can read this ECU OBD bench and the boot mode. And I always read these, we, I always read a new cars, a ADC 17, I try to read it on the bench because um, it's much more safer. Uh, when you read the ECU on the bench, you get the EE Prom internal flash, external flash, basically you get the full backup. So in worst scenario, if anything goes wrong, um, you got the full backup, so you can, you can reset the ECU, you can restart it, you can restore it, or you can even... Uh, clone it. Let's say you kill the ECU, you can clone the ECU, you can get a second hand one and clone the ECU. This is the connector manual. We go to the connectors. This is it's a very clear picture of the pins, where the pins go, the pins numbers. Like this is a B5. That's B5. So basically very easy. You you choose you see the you see the numbers, you, you plug them in. You put the pins and then that's it you're ready to read the ECU press next by the way guys this is this is a new generation ECU it's not the newest one but it's fairly new uh, usually we get the ECUs with the plugs on the on the on one end but this ECU has got the plugs here so this is kind of cool to be honest I like this ECU uh, we got the options here we got the connect so to connect it we need power put the ec on the I turn on my converter put the power on sorry it's just that's it we got the power on we press connect so basically what the tool does now it checks the connections if you see the colors, it checks the connections. So if the connections are all right, and then he tries to connect to the ECU, which is, we can see it down here, which connected. It looks like it, it found the ECU. It's trying to read the password, which is fine. We get the success. Now we got, we can read internal flash, internal EE prompt, and full backup. This is what I'll do. I usually read the internal flash and then save the internal flash and then full, I read the full backup and save it in my files on my computer. So that way I have the full backup. If anything goes wrong, I have the full backup. I can, I can, I can get out of the situation very easy. So read the internal flash. It usually takes about three to four minutes to read the internal flash as you can see 25% already it's, it's got 32 sections you read everything the some sections are like very small sizes and some sections are like 20, 256 or 500 megabyte kilobyte sorry so it takes time but usually it reads it for about two to three minutes and then you have the full file you have the internal flash uh, you do whatever you want to do, you remap it, you tune it, and then uh, modify the file, basically save it again, and then you write it back 
into the ECU. That's it. You have a you have a tuned ECU. You can put it back on the car, and uh, all done. So guys, I'm not going to keep you on this video. This is basically how to read the EDC 17 CP 54, which is this is the ECU number. It's very easy. Seven wires. We got 12 volt power cable and uh, flex. That's it. So after after I read this, I'm going to read the full backup, and then save the full backup, and then modify the internal flash, write the internal flash back on the car, back on ECU, and then put it on the car. Job done. Thanks for uh, watching, guys. If any, um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I do my best to answer them. And uh, if you think there's something, there's something that I didn't do. Uh, if there is more safer ways to do it, or uh, any questions, just leave a comment, please. Thanks for watching. Bye.